Hi, this is question 4 from the HOA Further Pure 4 Jan 2013 exam paper. In the first part of this video I would like you to have a go at the question yourself. So if you can pause the video now um, and give it a try. OK, welcome back if you managed to have a go at that. Um, if you're a little bit unsure, I'm now going to give you a hint to the question. So, um, we... Uh, for given the matrix A, and we're first of all trying to find what A squared is, we're given most of the matrix A squared, so in fact we only need to work out what the upper left um, uh, element is and what this element here is. So we want to do this matrix multiplied by itself and just work out what those two components there are. For part B, um, we're given this equation here um, and we're asked to prove that the inverse of A is equal to this here well um, my hint here is to try multiplying um, through by the inverse of A and see what that gives you and hopefully you will be able to um, manipulate that into looking like that side there ok yes. part C we're told that the inverse of A is equal to a sixth of this matrix here and we want to find the values of R and S. Well, we've worked out that the inverse of A is equal to this and we know what A squared is. Well, we've worked out what A squared is and we know what A is and we know um, what the identity matrix is. So hopefully we can slot in all those values and again, we're just looking for that component there and that component there the rest of it's already been worked out for us. Finally, part D, um, it says, hence or otherwise find the solution of the systems of equation. Because it says the solution, I think it's implying that for this particular situation, there is an inverse that exists. So if we write this in matrix form, um, and we know that the inverse of the matrix is going to be this here, we can um, then just multiply our right hand side of our equation by the inverse and hopefully be able to work out what the answer is in terms of k for x, y and z. Okay, so those are my hints. If you would like to now pause the video and have a go at completing the question. Okay, for the next part of the video I'm going to go over the answers to the question so, um, for 4a, we're, we're going to be a little bit short of room here, so I'm going to try and squash some of my working out over here, and then I'll, I'll expand it a little bit more in a bit. So, um, for 4a, we're given that a squared is equal to this here. Um, we want to do a times a, so we're going to multiply a by itself. Now, I don't want to work out all of it, I just want to work out what p and q are. So, p over here. Um, will be um, the first row of A multiplied by the first column of A. So if I'm basically doing this row times by this column. So um, I'm going to have um, P is going to be equal to 1 times 1 and I'm going to shift that along that way and shift that along that way so it's going to be plus 0 times 1 and then I'm going to shift that along that way that way and it's going to be plus negative 1 times 2 which is going to be take away 2 so I've got 1 times 1 which is 1 plus 0 take away 2 is going to give me negative 1 so that's what P is equal to OK, and we also need to work out what Q is equal to. So I've got Q equals here. And this time we've, we've got row 3 multiplied by column 2. So we've got 2 times 0. And along plus 2 times 2. And then we've got 
3 times 2 plus 3 times 2 and that gives me 0 plus 4 plus 6 which is going to be 10 so Q is going to be equal to 10 ok so um, part B says given that this is equal to 0 and we want to show the inverse of A is equal to um, this here so if I multiply 3 by the inverse of A um, that's going to give me uh, so a q times by the inverse of a is going to be a squared and we've got um, that there is going to be take away 6a and if I multiply a by the inverse of a, get a I get 11 times by the identity matrix and if I multiply the identity matrix by the inverse of A I'm just going to get the inverse of A so that's going to be taken away 6 times by the inverse of A and that's going to be equal to 0 right so um, if I want this in terms of um, the inverse of A so that means if I add that to that side I've got 6 times by the inverse of A it's going to be equal to A squared take away 6A plus 11i um, which means that the inverse of a is going to be equal to a sixth of a squared take away 6a plus 11i and this is what we were trying to prove ok so, um, so we've done part a we've done part b part c is um, we're using this here now to work out what the values of r and s are so I've got my 6 there and my 6 there so this matrix here must be equal to a squared take away 6a plus 11i so um, if I just mark that with part a part b right so um, I want my top um, component here r so r is going to be equal to and it's going to be um, a squared, so this element of a squared, um, which is p, which was negative 1. Take away 6a, so take away 6 of this number here, which is 6 times 1, which is 6. And plus 11i, so my identity matrix, the top left hand number is going to be 1, so it's going to be plus 11 times 1, which is 11. So that means that R is going to be equal to 4. OK, and then we've got S. And that's going to be equal to A squared, which is going to be Q, which is 10. Take away 6 times A, so take away 6 times this number here. So that's going to be 6 times 2, which is 12 and we have got plus 11i so um, in the identity matrix the um, component here would be 0 so it's going to be 11 times 0 which is just 0 so that's going to give me 10 take away 12 which is negative 2 ok so, um, so that number there would be 4 and that number there would be negative 2 ok finally part D <coughs> it says hence or otherwise find the solution of the system um, of equations here and we need to give our answer um, in terms of k so I'm just going to tidy up the work that I've done so far ok so a little bit more room to work in here now um, I'm going to start off by writing this in matrix form so I've got um, and, and what we should spot is that this basically here is going to be the same as that there so if I write this as 1, 1, 2, 0, 2, 2, negative 1, 1, 3 and that's going to be equal to um, K57 if I've got that Okay, so this and this mean exactly the same thing, and I can just check 
I've got x plus 0y take away z is equal to k x plus 2y plus z is equal to 5 and there we go um, etc 2x plus 2y plus 3z is equal to 7 ok so because um, I know what the inverse of this matrix here is because over here we've got a and over here we've got the inverse of a and it's equal to a sixth of this matrix um, I can multiply this by the inverse of this and that should tell me what x, y, z are equal to so I can say that x, y, z are going to be equal to and it's the inverse of this here which we found to be a sixth of um, r negative 1 negative 2 and r was 4 so we've got negative 2, 5, s, negative 2, 5 and s we worked out to be negative 2 and then we've got 2, negative 2, 2 and I'm multiplying this by k by 7 Okay, so um, now all I need to do is work out to work out what x is. Um, and it's going to be a sixth of, and it's going to be four times k. Take away two times five, which is ten, plus two times seven, which is fourteen. And y is going to be equal to six of, and it's going to be negative one times k, which is negative k, plus five times five, which is twenty-five. Take away two times seven, which is fourteen. Okay, and finally z is going to be equal to, and it's going to be a sixth of negative 2 times k. That's going to be negative 2 times 5, which is take away 10, plus 2 times 7, so plus 14, which is that there. So just coming over here then to write down my final solutions, x is going to be equal to, well we've got 4k plus 4 and a sixth of 4k plus 4 so that's going to be a third of 2k plus 2 so I'll write that as 2k plus 2 over 3 and then y is going to be equal to and we've got a sixth of and we've got negative k plus 11 so I'm going to so that's 11 take away k over 6 and z is going to be equal to, and I've got negative 2k plus 4 so that's 4 take away 2k but we've got a sixth of that so that's going to be 2 take away k over 3 ok um, and there you go so those are going to be our um, values of x, y and z Okay, thanks very much for joining me for this question. Hopefully you can follow all of that. And um, I look forward to seeing you again for the next question.